Hey everybody, Blaine Seitz here, Master Club Fitter and Director of Instruction for the Tour Shot Golf Academy. And today we are at Second Swing in Columbia, Maryland. And I have a super simple tip for you to help you become a better ball striker. And this tip comes from this idea in the golf world that we should be rotating when we hit a golf ball. And rotation gets a little bit of a, uh, a bad rep, if you will. And I think for players who focus too much on rotation, it actually creates more problems than good. And I wanted to rechange or uh, look a little bit at the way you think about the golf swing and see if this will help you become a better ball striker. So I want to demonstrate this idea. I have a jump rope here. And the jump rope is, is purely just to help give you a visual of what's going on. So let's pretend for a moment that this part of the jump rope is representing the energy that you're able to put from the club into the ball. Okay. Now, if we're hitting a shot, we typically want our swing to go down our target line, right? Especially if we want to hit a straight shot. So let's just say that this is our target line. They're not perfect. Let me see if I can get them a little bit better, but they're not perfect, right? But this idea that if we rotate, what starts to happen? Well, let me start to rotate and you tell me what happens. Does this part of the jump rope match our target line? Well, no, of course not. It's coming on a big arc. It's going out and around. And so if this represents the energy of our club, well, of course players have problems with their path and with squaring up their face. Because now you're trying to get this arc to perfectly match a straight line. And that's a very difficult thing to do. You've probably heard before that we want our club to go more or less straight back and straight through and on plane, but this idea of rotation is really not helping us. Okay, so what we really want to think is more of a lateral movement, side to side. So if we start to say waddle, now all of a sudden our energy is going straight back, straight through. We no longer have to worry about this arc. Timing this is super hard. Timing this becomes super easy. Now, if this doesn't quite make sense for you yet, let me plant a seed another way. Let's say, for example, we were in a fight and we're getting ready to box and I want to punch you square in the face, right? The fist is the thing I'm trying to move. I'm trying to impart energy into this fist and the fist is going to go straight. In order for this fist to go straight, my entire body rotates. It compensates, it gets out of the way, and it drives that force, okay? I'm not doing this, right? That's not rotation, like it is, but what I'm trying to move is going straight. Same thing in the golf swing. We're not rotating, we're going straight. However, in the golf swing, when we go back and forth, because we are bent over, our body needs to rotate. Okay, and that's where the rotation word comes from. Just like in throwing a punch, the energy is going straight. My body is rotating to allow that to happen. The same thing happens if I go for a walk. My energy is going to go in a straight line, but my body is going to turn. My hips are going to turn. That's just how we work. If we played golf standing straight up, it'd be one thing, but because we're bent over, in order to go back and through, there's going to be rotation of the body. Okay, so hopefully this makes sense. So we're changing our perspective from rotate to shift weight. And if we can shift our weight while staying relatively stable over the ball for consistency purposes, it takes a lot of the guesswork out of it. So one of the things that I like to teach players is the waddle. This idea that if I hold my club and I start to waddle back and forth, the club will begin to swing. I'm not making a conscious effort to swing the club. My waddle and my weight shift back and forth. That's what's swinging the club. And we can change how much energy goes into the club by how big of a waddle we take and how quickly we transition all through tempo and timing. But the best part of it is our body will begin to tell us where to place the club. We don't necessarily have to worry so much about being perfectly on plane. Your swing plane to a large degree is going to be determined by your mobility, by your range of motion. 
what your body can and can't physically do is going to shape your swing and make it unique and make it special to you. So rather than, okay, I need to turn here, make sure the club is in this position, then go up into here and then turn down and sequence and time it up just right, oh my gosh, no wonder so many people struggle with hitting a golf ball. That's too many thoughts. But if instead we're just thinking about rhythm, tempo, and timing, find your rhythm, find the ground. All I'm doing is shifting my weight back and forth. As a result, my club is staying on plane. I don't have to worry about my face angle changing, anything like that. And so when we shift the way we think about it, we take a lot of the guesswork out of the equation. I can now step up to a ball. I can look at my target, stay dynamic with it, and just go back and through and hit a great shot. Not because I'm trying to hit the ball, but because my energy is simply just going towards the target. And because I have proper range of motion and mobility, and because I've set up to the shot, I'm going to hit the shot I want. And so now our swing doesn't need to change. It all just changes what club we use and how we set up to the ball. So the next time you hear that you need to rotate, I want you to take that with a grain of salt. There's a lot of good intention behind it, but just remember that rotation is a byproduct. Okay? It's, it's not the thing that we're actually looking for. We're looking for energy to go back and through. And the more that you can just go back and through like this, the easier this game is going to become. So I hope this has helped. I would love to hear from you how this has improved your game. As always, everybody, move better, play better.